Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Racha Kodesh. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, who this world refers to as Jesus Christ, Ba'ashem, as in the name Racha Kodesh is the Holy Spirit. Also, shall I want to the hundred and forty-four thousand men that's laboring this truth for the sake of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, and shall I want to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and in sincerity. Shall I want? It's your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, and the title of this video, Lord Willem. The title of the video, Lord Willem, is going to be uh, to try a friend. All right, because, you know, we're coming into the last days, and we're, uh, let me actually start with this before I go to Syrac. Um This is uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. So these days are just going to continue to be worse and worse. All right, and you're going to, really see the true colors you know and people you know you always on uh been watching this uh netflix series night agent you know it's just uh so much backstabbing and uh you know it's always an inside man that's gonna sell you out <clears throat> you know so that's why it's important to you know try try the spirit all right this is first John four and one. Beloved, believe not every spirit, you see. So we can't believe every spirit just because they say, you know, Shalom, you know, even in your day to day, they may be nice to you, you know, you know, or whatever, especially Esau Edom. All right, scripture says never trust thy enemy. All right, but you don't want to get, you know, especially from an outsider, you know, getting too close, you know, with somebody that's in the world. You know, especially, you know, as a as a man in this truth, you know, kicking it with people in the world, you know, and all that, you know, because you never know, you know, some some other other people's spirits is not good for your spirit, man. All right, and there's not a uh, somebody that can sharpen you up spiritually. You know, all right, it's really dulling your dulling your uh, your sword. All right, because scripture says, "Iron sharpened of iron." Okay. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the most high, especially dealing with men in the truth. All right, trying the spirit whether they are of the most high, man. All right, so we got to prove somebody first. All right. All right, vetting. You know, we, we vet women. Okay, we, we got to vet other brothers as well. Okay, especially new ones that's coming around. It says because many false prophets are going out into the world, all right, you know. So there's spies, agents, you know, and false prophets. Some that just won't get the full download of the of this truth, right? It's gonna preach, you know, another Yahweh Shah. Okay, the scriptures talk about that. This is 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. It says, For he that cometh preacheth... Uh, uh, let's start at the top. 2 Corinthians 11 and, and 1. It says, Would ye, would to the Most High ye could bear with me a little in my folly, and indeed bear with me, for I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you a chaste version to Hamashiach. But I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguile Eve through his subtility, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Hamashiach. For if he that cometh preaches another Yahawashai, whom we have not preached, or, or if ye receive another spirit which ye have not received, or another gospel which ye have not accepted, ye, ye might well bear with him. 
You see, so they're going to are going to come false prophets that's going to come and preaching another gospel, all right, preaching another uh, Yahweh Shai, okay, all right, coming in a different spirit, man, okay. So we got to be aware of that, and we do that by trying the spirit, you know, understanding what the spirit of the Lord really is, all right. Then you're able to identify if somebody's coming in the spirit of the Lord or not, all right. I'm read that in the NLT. It says, Second Corinthians 11 and 3 says, But I fear that somehow your pure and undivine devotion to Hamashiach will be corrupted, just as Eve was deceived by the cunning ways of the serpent. You happily put up with whatever anyone tells you, even if they preach a different Yahweh Shah than the one we preach, or a different or a different kind of spirit than the one you received, or a different kind of gospel than the one you believed. You see, and in verse 5 it says, But I don't consider myself inferior in any way to these super apostles who teach such things, man. Okay, scripture says to uh, uh, be at a defense for the gospel, man. Okay, so if somebody's going off, all right, it's important to correct, all right, especially if they preaching a different, uh, a different doctrine, man. All right, it says the scripture says, mark those that cause a division and avoid them, man. Okay, true unity, all right, being in one, uh, being in one mind. Okay, well, let me go to Sirach or Ecclesiastes, chapter six, verse one. It says instead of a uh, let me start at six. It says, uh, let me start at seven. So like it's all right. Six and seven it says, if thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him. Okay. You got to give, give things time, man. You know, three, six months diligent, you know, then you can consider that, you know, hey, that, that, that might be a good brother. You see, but giving credit, you know, uh, two weeks, a week, a few days, man. All right, came out to camp three times. Okay, we can't be hasty to credit. It says, for some man is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. Okay, people people that we hang around, man. All right, you got to be hanging around, you know, true true men of the Lord are people that you can trust. Okay, because a lot of people are, are, are your friend only for occasion. You know, you may be up for the moment, all right, money, money, right, you know, living good, all right, then you got everybody that want to flock to you, that's how it is in this world, you know, but once you broke, you ain't got no money, you need some assistance, you know, they ain't there for you, man, you see? It says, verse 9, and there is a friend who being turned to enmity and strife, will discover that reproach, all right? You know, discovering secrets. It says, again, some friend is a companion at the table and will not continue in the day of thy affliction, but in thy prosperity, he will be as a, as he will be as thyself and will be bold over thy servants. You see? So you got to know who your real friends are. And these celebrities, you know, they, they, they really... You know, in that position, you know, they got that money, you know, you know, they don't know who's real, who's fake, man. All right. But once you down it out and bad, all right, then you see who your real friends are. All right. Those that may lend things to you hey, and don't even ask for, for nothing back sometimes, man. You see? It says, verse 11, if thou be brought low, he will be against thee and will hide himself from thy face. You see? And he gonna be calling you, you know, nigga in the world, you know, you, you know, you, uh, you, if you always up, you got weed, you know, and he, he, he kicking it with you, you know, every day, you know, once you down and out though, you ain't got no, you ain't got no trees to burn with him. All right. Then, Hey, you don't hear from him, man. All right. Y'all not talking, you know, so, but in it's truth, Hey, we, 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 uh, we got to carry our own our own burdens, you know, but we help each other out. It's a brotherhood, man. You know? And it's true love and it's, and it's fear. 
You know, we treat each other as we would treat, you know, our Lord, Yahweh Shah. You know, we do that to the best of our ability. It says, separate, verse 13, separate thyself from thy enemies and take heed of thy friends. Okay. Say, and scripture says, can two walk together lest they be agreed? All right. You know, so you got to be hanging with the brothers, man. All right. You know, the scripture says, forsake not an old friend. Okay, but you got you to gotta learn, you know, to spend more time with the Akim, you know, because right? scripture says, you know, that uh, you're going to desire to hear another man's voice. All right, that's a brother, man. All right, to put, to to feed you, to provide you, you know, with uh, spiritual, you know, extra spiritual boosts and confidence, man. So we got to soak that up now. All right, and not taking this ministry for granted, man. Okay, because this is a cold world that we're living in. What it says, and uh, let me see what's a little bit more on that. Yeah, that was the point. Uh, let me go to Matthew. Matthew 24 and 13. Uh, 24 and 12, it says. Well, let me read 10. It says. Matthew 24 and 11, Salachia 11, it says, And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. All right, it's a going back to trying the spirit, man. All right, see, seeing whether they are the most high. Okay, it says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. It's a cold world out here, man. Niggas are savages, man. They'll rob you for an eighth, man. They'll kill you over an eighth. Forty dollars, thirty-five dollars, they'll kill you over thirty-five dollars, man. You know, cause and that's because iniquity shall abound, man. Okay? Hey, the sins of this place have reached up unto heaven, man. Alright? We in a cold world. We in Babylon the Great. Alright. The most wickedest kingdom, alright, that's gonna receive the, the worst destruction, man. Okay, thermonuclear missiles, man. All right, hey, the Lord increased the, the, the knowledge, all right, partly for the destruction, man. All right, so it can be uh, mass destruction, man, and desolation. The scripture says it's going to leave them neither root nor branch, man. We'll read that again, Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, man. All right? Hey, we're going to see who your real friends are in this time, man. Huh? Okay? What scripture says in 2nd Ezra is for the lack of bread, man. All right? People breaking into your house, AK 47s. All right? Sticking you up for what? Not for money. All right? Not for, uh, uh, not for money, not for jewelry. All right, they may do it for jewelry, you know. Hey, but they're going to be sticking you up for food, man. All right? You don't see many people getting robbed out here for food. They may they may be getting robbed out here for their chain, okay, or whatever the case may be. All right, breaking in the house. All right, steal your money. But they ain't breaking in the house going in your fridge right now, okay, because food is plenteous. All right? You know, but pretty soon they're going to be breaking your house and, and going in your fridge, man. That's that's going to be true, true money. All right. You know, for these uh, for these niggas out here, man. Why? Because they're carnal. All right. You know, but the men of the Lord, hey, we're going to be good, man. All right. We're going to trust in the Lord. And we're going to come across food, you know, naturally without having to break in. All right. Stick somebody up for some food, man. You know. Hey, but the other way around, you know, I do believe, you know, because the Lord made our hands to fight. You know, so somebody trying to stick you up for, for food, you a man of the Lord, hey, hey, take them out, man. You know, Lord willing. All right, you know, but 
that was pretty much the point. You know, Lord willing, this video was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. I'm going to close with that and give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, and to the next lesson, I say Shalom, and the Bible Ball, Shalom.